Jeff Younger, representing myself, uh, and I am in favor of both of them. I'm not going to belabor a lot of the details. You've already heard a lot. There are some things that you two missed. I'll tell you that my, I'm the father of a child named James. I have twin boys, James and Jude. My ex-wife says that James is actually a transgender girl. He's uh, just about to be seven in one year. He's enrolled at the Genesis Clinic in uh, Dallas, Texas, which does sex change operations on children as early as 15. Uh, as early as eight, they can begin hormone suppression of puberty, which uses a chemical castration drug, uh, which will uh, stunt the growth of my son's sexual organs. So that's where I am with the court system, and I'm fighting that. She's just filed a motion to modify, which is a thinly veiled attempt to terminate my parental rights, because I will not affirm that he's a girl, mainly because he only presents as a girl with his mother, and he always presents as a boy to me. So that's the background that I'm coming to this with. So, look, we all know equal access to parents is a good idea. We've had an expert testify here. We've, we've heard, te you've heard testimony for years about this. We all know that. The question is, why isn't it happening? Where's that Mr. Brennan at? Is that Mr. Brennan? He's still back there, the one that went on the ramp back there. They represent a huge moneyed interest that doesn't want, that doesn't want parents to resolve their disputes with minimal litigation. They want to maximize litigation. That's one problem. The second problem, though, are actual statutes in the Texas Family Code, which uh, don't give courts clear guidance on what the best interest of a child is. The first is 153.252, which absurdly presumes that 27% of the time with your child is in the best interest of the child. We had an expert while you were gone. We had an expert uh, testify to this committee that that's essentially single parent, that's a single parent household because the parent doesn't exercise enough time with the child for it to be a dual parent uh, situation. So, but our, our law actually presumes that that is in the best interest of the child and we know that's absurd. The second one, and nobody's gonna talk about this, but I will, 201.107, which is the Title IV defunding, which comes into this state. The federal matching funds, which were put in place by Jimmy Carter, it's been there a long time, and it's a little over half a billion dollars. It mainly funds the Texas Attorney General's office and judicial retirements. There's a conflict of interest with our judges, ladies and gentlemen. Right? There's a, there's a fiduciary interest of the judges, and we need to overcome that. So we all know it's the right thing to do. We all know that there are, where's that, Mr. Brennan? Rich moneyed interests who are trying to split families up from their parents. And we know that there's a massive agencies in the Texas government that don't want to lose this money. I'm asking you mm -hmm. to pass these bills and don't take money. Yeah, excuse me, Mr. Younger. Um, we're going to go ahead and wrap up. And just mm -hmm. for the record, you need to stay focused on the bill. Okay. Yes. Thank you for being here.